Hello and welcome. I'm Max Wolf, and today we are at Northfield Airfield for the NSRA Southern Swap Meet. I'm going to walk around the car park here because there is absolutely loads. So let us start on this. So there's a huge queue getting in to the actual all of the auto jumble and stuff. So we're going to walk around the cars first, and there's some very very nice cars here. Starting off, we have Nick's Hot Rod here. Check his channel out. I saw him over there filming. He will have caught everything coming in and leaving. Always getting good footage. We came down this morning in Big Ram. Oh, seven o'clock waking up, four o'clock going to sleep. Oh, we don't do it lightly here. But as you can see on the first row, we've already got high, high quality. And you get a lot of cars here that you don't see anywhere else particularly. There's a lot of cars here I won't have seen, won't recognise, because for some reason this show gets all the cars, I guess it's a different area to what I'm normally filming in, but you get a lot of cars here that just don't normally get out. And you get a lot of custom ones here as well. Oh, as you can see the queue, Pretty big, big old event today. Loads of stuff. See if we actually buy anything this year. We're we'll trying to adjust this gimbal because it looks like it's shaking a bit to me here. And there will be a lot of vehicles for sale, which I will be trying to just showcase off the ones for sale because this is the place to buy, sell, whatever you need. So if you see anything, just pause the video on these little display poster things here. And yeah, who knows? You might see something here you want and you might get yourself a purchase. So done the first row and already, you can just tell how good this is gonna be as we're going around. But let's head into the second row here with even more. I think this is the third or fourth one I've seen for sale so far. This is just like this. I have seen this only. We haven't seen this about, have we? This. This was only last year's last time I've seen this. I think. Yeah. I'll say you you get cars that don't ever go anywhere else. No. No. That's why these sort of prices are good. Yeah. So as you can see, just going round, we have loads. Car park here is always good, always full of just loads and loads of different cars. I'm liking, I'm assuming the wrap on this. Also for sale. So like I said, just try and keep this video moving. I'm not gonna stay on the for sale signs long. If you wanna have a look at the details, just pause the video and have a quick check over it. Another one. I haven't seen this out ever before. There's a lot of cars I've only seen here as of last year. You're right, mate. Right. And we've already had our first uh, meet up with the person we know. Second one we're on today. I'm gonna be seeing absolutely loads of people here today because, well, swap meet brings everyone out. And I'm liking this wagon. Who knows? I might be finding myself something to drive home in. I'm liking this very much. How cool is that? So let's keep moving around as that queue ain't getting any shorter and I need to try and get these in and get into the show at some point. So we'll keep going, we'll see how it goes. I remember last year I filmed the walk around here 
and that was on the 360 camera, which a lot of people won't know what I'm talking about. It's a double-sided <laughs> camera, films everything. But the editing takes forever. So this year, we're doing the normal walk around with the normal kit, much better than before. You gotta love the styling on this, this Pontiac, it's stunning. I'm liking this a lot. This is a show where you, you just see cars, you never see anywhere else. And I do more or less every meet going. And a lot of these I haven't seen before. Which just goes to show how rare it is to see some of these out. I guess as well, this is down Essex way, so we are right out of my normal scope for cars that we'd see. I'm liking this. If you haven't worked it all out already, and if you're new to the channel, I do like the mobiles. Shame this isn't for sales, I quite like these. So we've got another three rows I think, we've got another one here for sale. we have one of the custom vans. Check the paintwork out on this. We have all of the stickers. I think I have seen this one. So I remember the uh, Hong Kong Fui. I'm pretty sure I've seen this down at, where was it? Um, Farm Fresh Motors, that's where it was. I think that was there. To my right, I can see three more classics coming in. There's gonna be a lot of cars coming in while I'm in the show, so this video might have a bit tacked onto the end. That's just um, basically me walking around after, like in a couple of hours' time, because as I said, we've still got quite a few rolling in here. And the traffic has now started to subside a bit, which is good, because we got caught in a traffic jam that didn't just span all this. That traffic jam spanned all the way, right down there to the roundabout and back. Yeah, we sat in a bit of traffic, but it's all worth it. There is what we came down in this morning. We'll get to that in a minute. And I'm noticing it is predominantly Chevy trucks here this year. That seems to be the prevailing theme. Nothing against them. I used to go out with a load of Chevy trucks. I've got the whole Chevy crew I used to go out with. So, got to love a Chevy truck. As well as this GTO. Whew. So one thing with 3100s though, in my opinion, not, well, I mean, they're kind of common for a classic car because we have one, just where I'm standing, one, two, three, there will be more. I've seen a lot more. Now I'm showing myself up, aren't I? There's five there. We've got five where I can just point around me. There's been more. But the thing is, it is good because everyone makes them unique, makes them their own, and that is what we love to see. to this Cobra here, all chrome, or just shiny base metal. I'm liking this.
on it. You all right? How you doing? Yeah, oh, good turnout, isn't it? Absolutely. I'll let you get on, I'll catch you in a bit. So, continuing round, we have Nick here doing his usual filming. As I said, check out his channel. There's gonna be loads of footage on there. And we've come to another one here that is for sale again. Doesn't know there's anything else on there, just a for sale and a phone number. I'm very tired this morning because I've only had about two hours of sleep but at least I didn't have to drive down so I can operate on two hours of sleep. I have another show I'm going over to in Aldershot tonight for Illusions so I better be switched on for it today. I'll crash later. And we have one very similar to the Bling Beast which is also for sale. As I said, Chevy Trucks, number six. So although I'm not saying loads as like maybe I normally do, I was incredibly tired today. So that's why I'm partially a bit more quiet and maybe not so as hyped up as usual. But I am thoroughly enjoying this as I've said it about three times now. You see the cars, you don't see anywhere else. Like this Mustang here. Don't think I've ever seen this ever before. So, let us move down to, what is this now? Row five, row six? As we move down, it doesn't get any less low quality. We keep going up here. So as I was just saying, I had a phone call just then saying that the people I'm down with today are in the queue. So I better hurry this up, otherwise I'm not going to be getting in here today. And if I was going to buy one today, I think this Oldsmobile might be the one. Out of the ones that are for sale anyway. Work very well with this, you can't see through. Oh, check this out. I'm moving on down the rear. Only seen this last year. Loving that yellow road there. Absolutely loving that. I will get to that in a minute. As will we get to this. Like I said, gotta speed this up a bit, gotta move around as people are in the queue and that queue is starting to go down. Now, if I get time today, I will try and get around the uh, well, let's call it normal parking. It's not exactly normal, well, it is normal parking, but there's a lot of modern classics in there. Just like Jack that stopped me earlier, uh, he's down in his Challenger, I saw him coming in. So I will hopefully try and get that in at some point if I can. But if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as there will be loads of footage coming out from all different shows. I'll be doing some footage inside of the swap meet here today. Just any random things I see. We're trying to get as much out as we possibly can. But yeah, this year is going to be a very, very busy year. And so this is what we came down in this morning. We came down in Big Ram, HMS Ram. And I keep getting phone calls. So if this video cuts about a bit, that is why. Phone calls seem to cut my video. 
And this is nice, I'm liking it. Pinstriping on the back. Like I said, gotta keep moving, not focus on anything too long, except for the roadrunner. How nice is that? Thankfully we're on the last row as the ones I'm here with today are basically paid to go in so I'll finish up on the final row here and there will probably be more footage when I cut it in after I've been inside the meat, walked around a bit in there. I'll probably make a separate video for actually inside the meat and anything else I film car wise, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I haven't thought this through, I'm not exactly got enough sleep in me today to be thinking this through fully. And the one I have got to do a little feature on is this hot rod here. How cool is this? It should be pointing sideways. Yeah, that's how it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well this was there, but Gila suspension is Gila. Trying to come off, isn't it? Yeah. Go, oh, Alan, I can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seen this last year. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to see what last year was like, check out my video from last year, as I did get a lot of footage there. Well, was, I think this is going to be a lot better than that previous video, but who knows? Let me see. I think this could do as a good thumbnail shot. So let me quickly just get a shot of this. There, that'll do. Like I said, I don't particularly do photos that often either, which is a bit of a problem for me when it comes to doing YouTube video thumbnails, things like that. Some very nice Chevys here, nice cream ones. Another one for sale. I'll better hurry this up, get this last one in. And I think that'll be it for the Swap Meet car park. As we have one leaving over there, I'm assuming they're going. Uh, yeah, so that is all the, let's say, normal parking. There will be a lot of classics and cars in there that didn't get into this fairly limited parking if you think about the attendance we get down there. But I will see how the videoing goes, what else I put in. We shall see, we shall work it out, and regardless of all of that, like I said, Chevy here in the car park, away from all this, it should be in there. Let's get this in, I can see even more further down. Let me zoom that in. I can see back ends of cars, front ends, there's, there's gonna be a lot here that isn't gonna get in, but it's taken me long enough just to do this, and I've gotta get into the meat, so. into all the chaos so hope you enjoyed the video and let's see what else we see <laughs> 